have this chicken water heater. Let me go ahead and open this up and show you everything it comes with. So this is everything that came inside the package besides the user manual. This is essentially the heated drinking base right here. And then we have the power cord. This power cord is 6.6 .6 feet long, so that's a nice good size. And it does have this three pronged plug-in right here. Just for size reference on this actual heater itself, this is 1.6 inches thick and it's 15 inches across here. This is intended for a pan of water, a double wall fount, or a plastic drinker, which you're going to set on this surface right here. And I do wanna mention that the power cord here does have a nice thick insulation material. You can see that's going to just prevent any damage from pecking from animals. And as far as the material that this is made out of, this upper base right here is actually stainless steel with an added insulation coating. And then underneath that, it has a high density thermal insulation aluminum lining. And then underneath that is going to be the thermostatic control heating wire. And then it's the bottom base here on the bottom. The nice thing about the thermostatic control is that the temperature that this is going to be heated to is going to range between 35 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. It does only operate between those temperatures and as soon as it does reach 77 degrees Fahrenheit, it automatically shuts off. So I do like that you don't have to worry about it overheating. And I also do like that this isn't just for metal drinkers. It can be used for plastic ones as well just because that temperature doesn't get too hot. Right now where we are, the temperature is about to get below freezing at night. And in the winter, it does get well below freezing, even down around zero degrees Fahrenheit. So this is really going to come in handy rather than going out and breaking the ice or using other items. We actually do have quail. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up in our little quail hutch and I'm gonna measure the temperature of the water before we turn this on and then after it's been running for a day. So right here, I just have a little thermometer and the temperature is still dropping. It is about 38. Um, my phone says it's about 35 degrees out. So just for reference on the actual temperature outside and it's supposed to get well below freezing tonight into the low twenties. So I just plugged this heated drinking base right down here and I actually just filled up some of their water. So I just grabbed their water and I'm just gonna take the temperature of the actual water itself. So the temperature itself right now is at about 48 degrees. I did just refill it. So just for reference, that's about the temperature right now. I did just turn this warmer on and I'm gonna go ahead and check on this in a couple of hours so that we can see if there's any difference. I was able to easily set this up. I did tuck the cord away just so we can prevent animals from like chewing on it and stuff, even though it is a nice protected cord. But just for size reference, this is a two gallon water container and so it really does fit perfectly right on here all right so it's been a couple of hours and my phone says it's about 34 degrees fahrenheit outside um, this is still trickling down we're at 36.9 right now as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the water so it's showing that the water is registering at about 67, says 67.9 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So the water has definitely gotten about 20 degrees warmer from a couple of hours ago and the temperature has dropped a few degrees outside. So that is so awesome. This is a little bit warm to the touch, but it's definitely not hot enough to like burn anything or to hurt an animal or anything like that. I definitely can touch it with no problem. Overall, I really like how easy this was to install. I like the safety features in it, and I like that I don't have to worry about this when I have this in here for my animals.